Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, guys? Ace Money here, Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, 27th of June, 2024. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Uh, one game earlier today, I dropped a video last night for it. Went 2-0. Oh, we got three more games for WNBA coming up today. First game, score with a quick line movement and whatnot. First game, Suns uh, versus the Mystics. Open at minus 8.5. Uh, minus 10.5 it's at now. Good line movement. You know, a little up and a little down. Uh, over on the 156.5, the shot down to 152. And Suns are the favorites, minus 440. It opened at minus 630, 650. Right now, uh, Mystics, you can find them up to plus 455, 450. Line movement is a way, it shows that stuff is actually happening in the game, whether uh, someone's not playing as an injury or. Uh, Different matchup, travel gets delayed, uh, all sorts of reasons, but it just shows kind of something happening in the game to make that line move. I mean, sometimes it could be as simple as the books just set the line too low and then with the bet and whatnot, it levels out. But uh, usually there's a reason behind it. It's a good way to, if there's big slates, to uh, help cut your research down, your time and stuff, because you look for the line movement. Those are the games you try to narrow in on. But, uh, yeah, so the next game, uh, we got Aces versus Chicago. Opened up at, uh, I don't know what I did. I clicked something. What in the hell? Oh, that's what happened. It moved over. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't kill me. Opened up at our minus eight. Line moving down two. It's at minus ten and a half. Jumped up two. Uh, over under one sixty seven and a half. Jumped way up to one seventy two and a half. And uh, Aces are the favorite, minus 410, and jumped over 100 points, minus 600. But, uh, yeah, so definitely stuff going on in these games. Give you uh, more reason to look into them. The last game at 10 o'clock is Fever versus Storm. Come on. Uh, opened up at plus 7.5, and, a half, and uh, that jumped to plus 9.5. You can find it. Over on the 166 and a half, that moved the point to 167. Uh, oh, two, 169, you can find it. Definitely line shop. You got to have multiple books, look for multiple different lines and different odds. You line shopping for both, better odds, better lines. And uh, you can find expect, uh, an edge right there. You can get better value right off the rip just by finding a, a different book that has better odds. So... Uh, you know, then the fever opened up at plus 285. They're all the way up to plus 360. So, uh, maybe trying to say Seattle's going to put a whooping on them. Uh, let's get into these player props. Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. Shit. All right, for this first play, uh, Vegas or Chicago. Going Angel Reese, rebounds over 10.5. Uh, minus 132, FanDuel, line shot, like I always say. You got to line shot the lines, too. If you see over here to the top right, they just moved it nine minutes ago. Plus 11 and a half. That might be for plus money. They do that sometimes. So alt line, it always alt line. If you could buy it back, uh, definitely alt line it if it's not too juiced. But uh, it's been doing pretty well. Has crazy double doubles. Uh, has hit the seven in the last ten, it's, it's clearing it by a lot. Sixteen versus Indiana last game, eighteen versus Dallas. And mind you, uh, Vegas is good at uh, 
rebounding, but still, I mean, they're fifth. They're not the best. So, uh, but Angel Reese is a beast, and uh, he's going against her her uh, mentor, I guess you could kind of say, uh, someone she used to look up to, probably still does, um, Asia Wilson. So, uh, should be a good game. I expected a goal. Pass. Angel Reese, 10 and a half rebounds. Uh, pretty good hit rate, uh, 7 out of 10, last 5, 80%. Four at five, that would be uh, definitely a good progression. Last four games, she's gone up 16, 18, 19, 23. Shooting damn near 60%, uh, 57%, 76 on the stripe, the uh, free throws. But yeah, uh, I've been doing this thing. It's, you see the odds here, minus 140. That's what the books are giving it, DraftKings. Those odds... They have an actual percentage. Uh, this is in my profile on my link. You can find better odds versus percentages. It's in there as a link. But minus 140 is 58.33%. So in the actual odds, she's hit this in the last 10 games is 70%. So right there, you're getting the edge. Uh, 48 to whatever, 70, almost, you know, 15, whatever it is. But uh, you're getting a good percentage right there. So that's the type of stuff you want to look for. It's actual odds versus the percentages. But, yeah, it looks good. Everything looks good. We go in. Kennedy Carter points over 15 and a half. FanDuel. Line shot, line shot, line shot. Um, come on. If you look, regular regular stats, uh, it's a little yo-yo up and down. But uh, 62% for the year. Or broke it down a little further. They're off three days rest. So here on Outlier, you could you can break it down a lot. You guys got to check out Outlier. Uh, you can use it for free, Outlier.com, as well as uh, you can pay and get some added added stuff. But uh, over three days rest, the last uh, ten games that she had three games rest, she's hit this eight out of ten times, eighty percent. Now, like I was saying before, the true odds to minus 114 is around 50%, 52%, something like that. Uh, she saw an 80%. That's 28% right there. So, uh, you know, looking good. She's shooting 47% uh, from the field, 39 from threes, 90% from the foul line. But, uh, yeah, hopefully my little trick works and uh, she clears this. The uh, Chicago is fifth in points allowed, so not crazy good defense, but they're okay. You know, and uh, I expected to go over this. Hopefully these stats and little percentage tricks will work out. Jackie Young points over 17 and a half. time and ask you if you could like the video uh new viewers please subscribe everybody turn up notifications on so we uh you get my videos instantly when i post them as well as uh if i don't make a video or i just try plays in the community you'll get them uh, my info everything i'm doing uh, if you could comment likes and comments help get the video out there help uh Brings them up on the main screen when people search for things. Uh, helps with the algorithm. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody. Uh, let's keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. I got Dewana Bonner rebounds over six and a half. Occasionally I play her threes, but she's on a down slump right now. Um, 
over six and a half rebounds, 132 FanDuel. Line shot, line shot, line shot. Um, what do we got here? Let's hit this seven out of the last 10, 70 percent. Last five, 80. She's exceeded six and a half rebounds and five of the last six games. Um, her wife is on the team as well. I can't think of her name right now, but she might not play today. And uh, her rebounds and stuff, she's, uh, she's really good. And uh, that stuff went down. I feel like something might be wrong with her the last couple games, and that's why Bonnet's rebounds has ticked up. But either way, she's a tall, a tall woman, real tall, very skinny. But uh, she gets to them boards. As you see, she had nine versus Seattle. It's definitely clearing this. Uh, true odds versus the, the odds of books are giving her. 130 is uh, 56%. And she's hitting that 70 so uh get an edge right there so she should easily clear this this will be done by third quarter easily rebounds over six and a half uh washington's ninth and rebounds allowed and it's, it's only 12 teams so they're almost last in getting rebounds themselves so should be all right easy money Let's for this next play i played uh kelsey mitchell threes over two and a half Plus 150, uh, did a half unit. Normally you wanna keep your unit size the same. Uh, plus money bets like this, uh, the harder odds to hit, so I usually do a half unit. You never wanna just keep changing it, betting whatever you feel like betting. Uh, Cause sports betting, you know, it's, you have, it's, it's like basketball, a game of runs. You go on winning streaks, losing streaks, and if you change your bets every time, when you hit them losing streaks, you kill everything you have to bet, your whole bankroll. But, uh, that's why it keeps consistency. She's hit this four out of the last five games. Uh, she's been shooting pretty well. Uh, if you're part of my community, you see I've been playing her points. Uh, you could play them. I think I might play them too. I normally don't like doing two bets, but uh, let me just do these threes real quick. Like I said, four of the last five, head to head, 60%, uh, shooting the ball real well. So 80% in the last, normally I like to do it when I do the odds for percentages, I do it for the year, but uh, plus 150 to 80% is like, 30, 40, 50% difference. But uh, her points, she's been clearing this. If you want to play the safe bet, I would play her points. Over 16 and a half, minus 114. Uh, she's cleared this, I think, all five games. Come on. Easily cleared this. The points is definitely the safer bet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place that, that myself, too. All my plays that I give you, I actually bet this is what I'm doing daily. Uh, so whether we win or lose, this is this is my daily activities. You guys get them just how I give them. But, oh, yeah, so Kelsey Mitchell points. Uh, definitely, yeah, I'm going to put that bet in. You might want to change it. If you feel comfortable doing a little something on the threes, then take that. But if not, points are the safer bet. All right, for this last play, going on uh, Jewel Lloyd, Seattle, assists over three and a half, minus 132. sick. I know a broken record, line shot, line shot, line shot. Uh, four out of the last five, she's cleared this. Plays plenty of minutes. Uh, last 10 games, 70% hit rate. That's 20, 55 for the year, 56%. Uh, like I said, I had to head 80. Uh, it's definitely a baller. 
Uh, Indiana is ninth in assists allowed. It's only 12 teams, so that's bottom of the pack. So they letting some ball movement happen, and uh, Seattle sharing the ball. Uh, I was looking at her rebounds, too. I decided not to play. You can check them out. Her points, I was thinking under, but I didn't play that either. This seemed like the best bet that I could find for her. So, yeah, assists over three and a half. Let's get it. Uh, Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.